Welcome back, welcome back. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is probably the easiest thing we've done so far. And you guys have most likely figured it out already. It's just to insert text. So the next two things I have to show you guys are to insert text here. This is just for my website again. And the very last one is to insert icons. Icons are just images, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna show you how to insert text quickly. It's gonna be maybe two, three minutes. So I'm gonna to go to code view. I'm going to go to the end of my image carousel. So it's going to be all the way down here somewhere. Uh, let's go to live view, actually. Oh, no. So sorry, split view. And let me click on my image carousel. Uh, where's my mouse here? Let's click after that. Yeah, it's somewhere down here, I believe. Image carousel stops here. Yeah, that's fine. And after this table, because remember, this is all in a table. After this table is where I'm going to want to have... Um, my what's it called again my text so i'm going to do another table just because i'm using tables so far it makes it very easy when you're doing a simple basic website like this that's just going to have basic elements i'm going to go to insert i'm going to go back to table again i'm going to do one row one column and leave the width exactly the same click ok and you should have a table down here now all we have to do is type if we want a heading tag, we can choose a heading tag. If, if, if we want a paragraph tag, we can choose a paragraph tag. So what I'm going to do, just type some stuff in here. Um, hello world, my name is King Boss, right? I'm not going to type anything sensible here. If you want to type something sensible, that's perfectly fine. Now, if you want to get some random text generator, you could just copy some text from a Word document somewhere. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how to put text in, right? But there's this thing called lorem ipsum. Uh, this is some uh, Italian term. I don't, actually don't remember what it means, but it's just essentially random text that you can copy into your stuff when you want placeholder text. So think of lorem ipsum as simply placeholder text. This seems like a good amount, so I'm going to copy maybe this section here. I can copy and paste it a few times. So highlight it, right-click, copy. Choose any text you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just putting a placeholder there because I don't want it to look blank. I want it to just have something there. I am going to paste mine inside that TD tag. So the tag that says TD, I'm going to press it there, give a space just because, you know, I like to give spaces and paste. You can do right click and you can do paste or you could have just done the shortcut control V for Victor or command V for Victor. When I go back to live view, I just got some random text here. That's all you had to do to put text in. Now you can type whatever you want here. That's perfectly fine. That's how you do it. Done and dusted. In the next section, I'm going to show you guys how to insert your icons at the bottom. Well, I'm going to show you how to insert my icons at the bottom. You can do whatever you want. You can put whatever you want on your website. However you've desi uh, designed your website, do that. So for me, I'm going to have Facebook. I think that one is Instagram. This one is Twitter email, YouTube, whatever other social media there is, I'll probably drop, I, I know about TikTok, I'll drop a few of those in there as well, just so we have quite a few of them. And I'm going to actually link them. So I'm going to show you now how to link stuff to external websites. So when someone comes and they click on the Facebook um, icon, it should take them to the Facebook page. It's obviously not going to be my Facebook page, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to link them to Facebook page or maybe the Facebook page for Rockstar. I'm going to link them to, I think that's the Instagram one, sorry, the Snapchat thing. I'm going to link this one to the Snapchat website, this one to the Instagram. That one I'm going to put as an email. That's a slightly different one. I'm going to put this one to YouTube and I might do phone as well. Phone and email are slightly different and so is WhatsApp. When someone clicks on it, it should be able to take them directly to that person's email thing and they can start typing straight away. So it should open up your email app if you have one. If you have um, a phone and you click on the phone one, it should open up your phone dialer straight away so you can start to um, just, just press phone, just press call. So stay tuned. That's what's next.